Welcome, welcome everyone. This is Ragnarok here with part 10 of my Defender of Uthwan series, which is part 2 to my High Elves Tyrion campaign on Legendary Difficulty. So, let's just pick up where we left off last time. We defeated Chaos here with the aid of the Aquitaine Garrison. So, I think we'll actually move Marielle, or sorry, Beatrice now. Back to, or actually, Entering this was Vesselin, Vesselin. Mel anyway, it's Beatrice now. We'll just move her back to Aquitaine to get full replenishment there. This army is going to come down around this way. Might as well land in Allied territory. To Bastogne, I think we can safely build this now, and actually want to. Just pick up a general here as well. Just to, uh, to have somebody to, to come down here and colonize these, these territories. That chaos. Dragon world, eh? Upkeep minus 20% for dragon units. That's, that's, that's very interesting. But I don't think we will be building another dragon dragon army but it's very tempting to get somebody like that at some point I like this one too Docturnal so many great oh and I really like this maybe she's available later on well, we'll pick her up to to build the next uh, the next navy that we build. Anyway, no, it's just doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, let's sink some points into there just to, to boost the public order a little bit. All right, so his job will be to come down here to Borderlo. And we'll get this army put together. We'll get these troops put in there, and then we can get rid of this guy as well. Let's save some money. Let's get all of this built up. Um, definitely want this here. And then... What else do we want to put here? Already got that. Got that. We could just put this here, but I feel like. I feel like the Elven Embassy is going to make more money for us here. We've got two ports plus the the bonus that it gives plus five percent faction wide trade. We have a lot of trade partners, so alright. Lizardmen and guardians of become guardians of the shrine of Cain. Alright, one more turn. He's in the field. Servant of the king. Let's do some building here as well. I guess we'll go public board, border buildings. Start off just to get this province under control. We are ill at ease. Lethal grace given fall. So we'll come down here and take this. For the king. No mercy. Looks like the the lizardmen. Retreat! Uh, I guess this lizardmen army. It looks like they just sacked it. Pillage anything of value. Just to occupy. Go for the capital next, I guess. It's a decent garrison, though. I don't know. How much longer? 
Do we still have balls and well? Supply lines. Pain. Cast evasion. Two turns remaining. Oh, sorry, seven turns remaining. Okay, that's good. So, could potentially siege that out right away. However, hmm, I don't know. It'll be a little bit tougher. We should have enough arrows to be able to do it, though. Lord of the Phoenix Court. Though, Captain Kirk himself is not not that high level just yet. Your orders. All right, Tyrion. That's ah, just out of reach. But, oh, it's Malekith again. I think we want to. Hmm. Can I offer assistance? I await your orders. Let's have you take a look. What's going Moving on up out. here? Let's see if there's anything back here. Resting a spell. All right, we should be safe to take this as well. Azur, attack! For the Ever Queen. Okay, so looks like we'll have to fight it. It's a lot of dark shards. Rally to me, Azur. There's nothing here that should give us too much of a problem. So mention this video might be a little bit shorter than the, some of the previous ones I am supposed to meet with Shadow to uh, to record one of our Vampire Counts episodes today. So whether or not um, just waiting on him right now. So hopefully it's not shorter uh, than an hour. But if it does end up being shorter. I apologize guys, I'm just a little pressed for time. I haven't, um, I don't know, summertime, I guess it's a little bit busier than, than normal and I just haven't had time to uh, get a lot of my recordings get, and get ahead with, uh, with a lot of my recordings, but I don't know, I guess it's kind of becoming like a recurring theme for me is uh, just getting things done basically last minute, which is not good because it doesn't allow me to uh, spend spend a lot of time on, on different types of projects and things. So, I don't know. Anyway, i got to do a better job of uh, getting ahead. Uh, there's a lot of tower. Do these towers shoot too? These things? Or is it just this one? Uh, doesn't. Okay, just the ones with the, uh, the little white thing on top. Okay, so probably we'll attack here. Okay, this one doesn't attack either. Good attack here too. It's just the four towers out front that attack from this side. Just line you guys up like so. Actually. Without fail. Yeah. Uh, guess that'll be good enough. Eagle claw. Really excited, guys! I just ordered a new keyboard finally online, and uh, it's supposed to arrive today. We so I am really, really excited to have actual proper keyboard for a change. So. Yeah, looking forward to that. No more, no more bugged out keyboard with like a little bit of delay, anything like that. Anyway, let's try and do this quickly. I guess. Start shooting there. Maintaining order. For Ophon, I forgot she's kind of low level as well, so a lot of these generals that we have over here in Agarond pretty fresh, I guess. 
20 seconds for this. Probably. Probably pop it there. Here. Keep moving you. Orders. Princess of Alcorn. It is done. At once. With haste. Come on. I need four. Princess. Astorian wills it. Oh God, I it should do be. it. Eagle Claw. Guys, like this one. With Let's see if we can get rid of some of these dark shards. Weird, they moved this unit instead of the other one. Ah, uh, shit. One. Too close. Understood. Moving out. For duty. Reach there. Archers. Guess we can get these archers down here. Probably bomb right here with the uh, bolt throwers when they're finished with this. At once. Understood. Understood. It will be done. Alright, let's get you guys lined up like so. And switch to this shot. Let's see what we can do here. What kind of damage we can get done. Just have to be careful not to get into their range there, but should be fine. Should have plenty of ammo for this as well. Very, very nice. Some good volley there. Just completely smash that unit. See if you can target this one as well. They will probably keep these guys on fire at will. As you say. Should have plenty of ammo, so. We Ammunition shouldn't be an issue. Love and sea guard. Get the sea guard up here ready to go as well. So she can snipe them. You guys target this one. Whoops. Come on. Ah, for fuck's sake. I don't like how parts of the wall are, are basically indestructible. Good. It will be done. Just gonna inch forward a little bit. Asurian guides us. Love and sea guard. Let's keep you guys up here as well. Forward. Whoops. Moving out. Got her a little bit too close to the action here. Shouldn't take much longer now. Lots of arrows, lots of pain. Probably should technically have the sea guard in front. Um, just because one, their shields, and two, yeah, they have less range, so. Just getting some shots in on this guy here. Yeah, this is something I haven't used throughout the campaign very much is the, the ranged the princesses with their, their ranged attacks. Definitely something I should be making better use of. But looks like they're getting the army loss. Alright, 
Nice, quick and easy siege there. Get things started off. I don't know why the, uh, the balance of power is so... So close, but whatever. I still did manage to lose 10. I think those were on the bolt throwers. From the beginning of the battle there with the, the tower. I think a few of the tower shots got by, got by Freya. Not sure where I want to move Tyrion right now. Don't want to get him into trouble, so. Asil rejoice. Claim it for the king. Uh, let's just occupy just it. Reward. Whoops. Uh, what the fuck? Not mean to do that. We are ill at ease. Two more turns for this. We should get public order under control before the rebellion, I think, anyway. If we get the rebellion there, I'll be a little bit annoyed. Uh, we could also, if it looks like it's going to rebel, we could also bring Kalidor back that way. And then this army. Hmm. Ariel. There isn't any replenishment. You know what? Thinking. If you win it. Bring her this way. We go. Or we could bring her around this way. Things are looking good. We're almost to the edge of the map there. Got Malekith right here. As far as I can tell, that's the only only army that they have. Holy shit! What the hell happened here? Look at that. Uh, Master Mundy, how about you go over there and Shield attack them? The Champion of the Ever Queen. Hmm. Should be able to take him one on one. I am just concerned that there could possibly be another army back here, but I guess we'll move Tyrion to here. Or we could move him back this way to take the... Maybe we'll go back this way. And then that way we can secure this entire province for now. Malekith shouldn't be able to reach the Venom Glade. Speak. We can bring Kalidor up this way. Bring Mariel over this way. Just go public order. I think that's probably what we're gonna do here. A promising lieutenant. Moon Dragon, fuck yeah. Alright, good stuff. And that I really don't think we're gonna need defenses here. So I think we're gonna get rid of those. Ah, for fuck's sake. Second time I did that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that I have the new keyboard on the way, I, I guess the, the next thing on the list is uh, a new mouse, a proper gaming Son mouse. Right now my mouse is, yeah. I, I don't know, I actually like it quite a bit, um, but it's, yeah, definitely not a high-end gaming oh, mouse, nice. that's for sure. Alright, cool, I think that looks pretty good. Is there anywhere we can build down here? How is, is public order looking? Alright. Minus three down here. Really do want to start pro 
taxing these provinces, but anyway, we gotta leave it for now. I think we should be fine there. You seek illumination. Plato, you gotta stay put. What do you seek? Ghost, head it this way. Um, I guess it's quicker to go this way. All right, whatever. Doesn't matter. Just take a look at the building. Let's Griffin Gate. Ooh, yeah, we should definitely build that. Northern Jungle. Oh right. We're gonna build some. Yeah, I'm just wondering if the embassy would actually give us more money than. And the trinkets. I mean, we've only got the one port here. However, the the bonus to trade. What is the bonus to trade? Five percent trade faction wide. I mean, five percent of nineteen thousand would be quite a bit. All right, let's try building. Building the embassies and see what kind of jump we get in the trade. Looks good. The Black Coast. Sure, we can build this. Ah, uh, yeah. Just quickly check the diplomacy, see what we got here. Deteriorating, eh? Proving. It is time. I am the High King. All right. Here or not moved. What do you require? You have use of my power. You seek illumination. Illumination. My powers are yours to command. Let's just take one quick scan of the map. Just make sure we're not forgetting anything. Things look good, I think. Let's see where we got enemy armies. Expecting to see old Archon over here some at some point. Oh, there he is, he's up. In the north, fighting the Bretonians, I guess, and the dwarves. Not looking forward to facing off with Koalek, that's for sure. I think we're looking good. I still have a lot of settlements there, the Dark Elves, up there, but slowly making our way through it. Anyway, let's hit the end turn, and, uh, sure. Right, yeah, let's, uh, let's continue with, uh, S.P. Cockwell's Siege of Nagarond, and pick up where we left off. I'm just going to reread the, the previous p paragraph that I read because kind of stopped where we were like right in the middle of this, uh, this rematch between Blackhand and Valkia. So Valkia hurdled the, the kick, bringing her weapon down in an overhead strike that would have pinned him to the floor had he not intercepted it. Spear and Halberd locked together in a spray of arcane sparks and sizzling blood. The earth, earth shook dislodging a shower of broken rock and bodies from the rubble, but neither warrior spared a glance at what was happening as they wrestled to gain the advantage. Valkia's eyes burned in, into Darkhand's soul, and he could feel his self-control begin to soften. He felt an urge to yield to this creature. His iron will was not as indomitable as he had thought. No, came a whisper in his thoughts, a whisper that came in his own voice. Nagarond, must stand. He ripped his gaze from hers and ducked backwards, breaking the deadlock briefly before their weapons rejoined. A slaughter brute 
bounded across the debris, snorting and bellowing in fury. Corded muscles rippled beneath its hide and saliva flecked its jaw. It towered over the figures struggling on the walls, its crimson skin bulk studded with spines and the halves of broken weapons. Its head was the size of a cart and, support, and sported a face that was an unnatural cross between canine and reptile and a wide maw studded with rows of jagged teeth. Valkia shrieked in frustration at yet another interruption, but turned the creature's charge in her favor. She nimbly moved to the side, leaving its thundering passage clear. It charged up the rubble, bloodied saliva flying from its mouth, and Darkhand was struck temporarily motionless as he stared at it, bearing down upon him. As the creature cranged closer, he braced himself to receive the charge. He was robbed of his chance to kill it by a nest of serpentine heads striking forwards from the city side of the rubble. A hydra, bleeding from a score of wounds and enraged beyond control, rushed the approaching brute, sinking both teeth and claws into its hide. The impact was tremendous, breaking bones and crushing flesh in an instant. The beast rolled and struggled, biting and clawing at each other. Dark Hand embraced the moment of distraction and leapt with grace onto a ruined section of rampart. Valkia hovered there, her wings working slowly in the hot wind, banning the drifting cinders and ash. Oh, what do we have here? Marathi and Malekith And we have the garrison force. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to fight this just to see our allies in action here. I, I wonder if they, the allies, get the bonuses that. Yeah, let, fuck it. Let's fight it. Let's see. Let's see the AI in action. This will be interesting to to actually see them fight one another. Actually, curious to see how this how this plays out. Even though the the dark elves obviously have the advantage here. I really didn't think that they had enough movement to to reach this settlement. To be honest, so I guess they're attacking Master Mundy. Should considerably weaken them at least, though. It's a lot of fucking shades. I hate these things. And these, I'm not even sure what the hell those are. Oh, goody. Their uh, troops come in right beside ours. We'll get down here. Barrel Bastilladon, Temp Guards. Alright, start it up. Where are their reinforcements coming in? Right beside us? Oh, okay, that's cool. Maybe we can uh, get over here and, and take this army on before. Let's. Is that Malekith? Yeah. Let's see if we can draw him out into the open with these, uh. These guys. I'd like to get the archers out in the open too. So we can just hold these guys in place for now. Let's distract them. What's going on over here? Oh shit, they deployed like right on top of one another, that's crazy. Oh, look at this shit. What a mess. I don't know where our troops are and all that. Okay, there they are. 
keep moving back. What do we got here? Doomfire Warlocks. Yeah, maybe it was not a great idea to uh, to fight this. Shades of dual weapons. Let's come over here. It looks like we're losing quite decisively here. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make it into formation. Let's see if we can shoot them. I'm gonna bring you guys over here to get out of this mess. I think the rest of you are kind of caught in here. Though it looks like, looks like the lizards are winning over here. I don't know. Over here, definitely losing though. I feel like we're gonna do more damage to them here than the auto resolve. Uh, just the balance of power with the auto resolve. Shit. Lost control of these guys. We will obey for the king. Assyrian guides us. You guys hold her in place, and maybe these guys can kill her. Come on, get over here. What are you guys doing? Fucking idiots. We will obey. Advance. Yeah, I don't know, it's hard to tell, but it looks like the lizards are winning in the woods here. All those trees are getting a little bit of lag. Come on, shoot her. Shoot her. Are you guys fucking kidding me? What is wrong with you? Oh yeah. Useless. Useless. Is that Malekith? Must be Malekith. Alright, so... I wasn't much help here to the lizard men. I mean, I even know we didn't have much of a force to support them with here. Okay. Fuck is everybody? Where are you guys? Okay, you guys are back. Cool. Maybe we can kite them a little bit. Ugh, dark shards could be a problem. I don't even know what to target with this guy. Turn around and shoot them, I guess. Oh, for fuck's sake, guys. Get over here, see so if we can catch them. Yeah. Not gonna last long against those dark shards. Whoops. Alright, yeah. I, I really didn't help the lizards much here. But they did pretty well in the forest here, I think. I can't see what the hell is going on, though. Oh, man, he's so... Oh, okay, that's just a black dragon. I was going to say, Malekith is so close to being destroyed. The thing is, Tyrion might be able to come over here and get rid of these armies. Though I think he's going to be a little bit a little bit out of range. Let's just fucking fast forward this. Oh, okay. Never mind. Decisive defeat, eh? Felt like they lost a lot more than that, but apparently not. Yeah, it did okay in the forest. Malekith's army took a bit of a beating, but Marathi just steamrolled over those guys. Shades actually might be kind of difficult to deal with with the dragons because the 
the effect that they have on them, the uh, psychological effect. Yeah, I mean, put Tyrion back there to defend, but I don't know if that's a good idea. I could wait for them to take it. Maybe shouldn't have moved him over this way. No, that does free this army to come around that way. Fuck does he have so much movement? Holy shit. I feel like he's in Tyrion's range there though, actually. Alright, anyway, yeah, let's uh Let's get back into this book here where we were. So Everything you know will be ashes. She hissed and stared at him. Blood and ashes. Dark hand did not reply. His gaze was fixed on a point somewhere over Valkia's right shoulder where he had seen a sight that filled him with grim resolve, awe, and a sense of impeding victory. He looked at the red armored daemon, and a slow smile spread across his face. It gave him intense satisfaction to see a look of momentary distrust, confusion, even in her smoldering eyes. Centuries from now, he said, my city may fall to ashes, but it will not be today. The demonic woman halted her attack and stiffened as a marrow-curdling scream tore through the mists. She turned her head in the direction of Darkhand's gaze and curses spat forth from her perfect lips. Darkhand felt a surge of joy at the sight before him. The timing was superb and even though he had to be sure in his heart that he would witness this turn of events, he was still glad enough that he was right. Darkhand's eyes settled upon the huge creature that had hoved into view. He had seen this beast's arrival on countless occasions, but it always took his breath away. Its name was Seraphon, and its bulk was enormous, the vast wingspan eclipsing the wane light from the north. Its gnarled, scaled flesh was harder than iron or stone, and with powerful beats of, of its wings, the dragon descended from the clouds like a, st a Stygian god. Dark Hand gripped his halberd and and drove his gaze upwards to seek out the beast rider. Seated high between the dragon's shoulders rode Malekith, the Witch King. Black lightning played around his fingertips, and a nimbus of shadows danced at his brow as he cast his burning gaze over the marauding, marauder horde. Seraphon swooped low, and a huge blast of acrid breath crumbled the remaining siege tower, eliciting a great cry of defiance from the defenders of Nagarod. Acid-eaten bone and decaying wood collapsed in splinters, crushing warriors and blocking the approach. Seraphon swept the length of the wall, its claws and breath scouring the rubble of life and butchering marauders by the score. Cool. Malekith has finally arrived to, uh, to defend his, uh, his capital. Alright, Plato, I gotta stay here for now. A promising lieutenant. And mm, I might as well give you this in case you ever happen to end up in an army. For whatever reason. Let's keep building here. Minus three. Public order. Yeah, so let's take a look at how Malekith there, Marath there, and Malekith is in Tyrion's range. So I think probably lightning strike there. A mighty warrior. Goose, last skill point. I want to give you. Ooh, I think we'll go with wound maker. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think with a lightning strike, and then we'll put Tarion in the Circle of Destruction. Uh, it's unfortunate that we're not going to get to take that this turn, but yeah, let's just get rid of Malekith. Seal. See what... Uh, I don't know why the AI would have would have done that right there, but I don't even really need to fight it manually, but I think we will because uh, we should take less Bring damage and battle. we can get these guys healed, whatever the damage they take, we can get them healed at the end of the battle, so... One more, one more noble for this army. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Yeah, one more noble. And then Tyrion's army will finally be complete. I think we're probably just going to charge right at them. Stay out in the open, though. Noble. These are all on. Noble. Ready and able. Noble. Noble born. All right, good stuff. Let's put sun dragons on the flanks. Let's put the star dragons in behind here. Tearing right in the center. My power is yours. You can hang back. Servant of light. Heir of Anarian. Alright, good stuff. Alright. Boogie. them. Son of Ulfwad. Noble Lord, it is done. Done. Right away. Noble Lord. Black Eye. Alright, going a little bit slow here. Noble. What bots? Let's get in there. Tyrion. Get in there too. Just fucking attack going. How's this guy doing here? Seems to be doing alright. Get a heal over here. Guys, jump in, help out. Guys, get in here and help out as well. Noble, quickly now! Oh, is that Tyrion? Oh yeah. Took a little bit of damage there. Give him a shot of this. Oh, 
shit. I need to get you out of there. Get out of there. I go then. Oh come on. Heal him. Heal him. Get him out. Get him out. Do not want to lose a dragon here. Get out of there. Oh. Fuck, that was close. Get out of here. Come on, guys, take down fucking Malekith. Holy shit. Damn it, we almost lost a noble here. Alright, so. Definitely my strategy here was not. Not very good. Obviously. anybody close to losing a couple of these nobles I think it's almost over here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right. somebody who's got damage just stand back here for now is that it what was what's left all right Ooh. Yeah. Gotta be a little bit more careful next time. Just figured brute force would have been fine there, but anyway. Hopefully have time to get some of these guys healed up a little bit. Ah, shit. I always forget to to hit some of those abilities. Speed it up a little bit. Oh man, yeah, I would have been fucking pissed if we lost lost somebody there. So we get one more heal in. Not in great shape though. That's the thing. Still got to deal with Marathi here. I think that'll do it. I don't think we're going to get another heal in. Alright, close call that. Be a little bit more careful and probably use their play to their strengths a little bit more next time and use their breath attacks before we just fucking charge right in there. This is the black guard that almost took down the star dragon there, I think. Anyway, luckily we got through it without losing anybody. I don't know, that's the one disadvantage of putting all of these heroes in one army is you don't really get to maximize their their abilities. Uh, unless you're like fucking Superman with your with your micro, which most definitely Save I am not, so uh, I think we'll go with this pump to the treasury. My journey begins. All right, good stuff. I think we will. Champion of the Ever Queen. A worthy ally. Okay, what are any of you? Maker. Ah, uh, let's go to deadly onslaught, I guess. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Doesn't have quite enough movement to I get into not. the settlement. Inspecting the garrison. Ah, yeah. Don't want to put him in force march. Your words are nothing. 
but we should be able to take that on anyway. So how much replenishment did the garrison get here? A glorious victory. Uh, they're in okay shape. Plus, we got the uh, the lizards to back us up as well. That is, assuming that they don't, assuming that they don't move. Alright, old Captain How Kirk. Should we move towards that or that? You called? The capital would be more valuable, I guess. This is going to be a tougher fight for him on his own. Yeah, I should have enough ammunition for At that. Your service. Lethal grace given form. Should be able to reach it next turn. Just want to stay in our own territory, I guess. How can I assist you? So he is at full strength. Yeah, I guess we can move into their territory. Yeah, we'll attack that next turn. I think we should come to here. True son of Ulfwine. So there will be carnage, there. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Breeding will out. Good job. Yeah, there's nothing back here, so Our this is good. Give me strength. Hmm. Suffer attrition in this fucking snow. Alright, the garrisons aren't anything too much to worry about back here. Let's go with the growth. Can I offer assistance? Might as well get on the move or Madness will consume the Druki. Just wondering if we're going to have enough movement to get there next turn. From there. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, well, never mind, I guess. Lady of the Phoenix Court. I was gonna put her in in camp there, but anyway. Alright, let's have you Princess of the come to here. Fucking hell. Can you reach this right now? Looks like she can reach it right now. Uh, not quite. Just out of range. Alright, fuck, whatever. Things look like they're well in hand. We're in a little bit of under threat here with Tyrion, but should be okay there. Oh, son of a bitch, and before I forget, old Kalidor the second is ready to go. Good stuff. What kind of range do you have? Okay, perfect. Your decree? Let's get you moving, my man. Speak. What the hell? Minus. How did this go to minus eight? Corruption minus two. Wasn't it like minus four? Previously, is corruption going up? Hmm. All right, that's not good. We might have to, might have to put a general or something in there just to deal with the rebellion. We'll wait till next turn, but it looks like we're gonna have to put a garrison back here at the, the Red Desert. The Asser are troubled. But one more turn before that that rebels. Alright, we've just got five minutes left in the episode. We are definitely pushing towards the get get rid of those dark elves. Uh you, my dear. Um alright. It's actually For the Phoenix King. Hmm. What size army is this? Can I offer assistance? 
What is the garrison like at best stone? The uh Lady of the Phoenix Court. You need me. Fucking hell, he can't even can't even reach this. How far can you make it? Force march to there. Okay. Princess of the Asso. Let's move you here. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Put you in in camp. And camp. Of the transfer these troops over. Going forth. We could get rid of you. Though I guess we could have kept him too. Can this. I offer assistance? Seek you out of a camp. And I think. Hmm. Ah, man. Just gonna Garrison. be out of range of Bastone. Ever loyal. You may Just don't want these guys coming over here, too. Though I think they have to. Level 27, son of a bitch. We are ill at ease. Anyway, let's. Lethal grace given for position you right there. Ready to serve. And then you can scoop that up next turn. And Orders. she should Entering the city. I don't know I is she the Princess of the Asset. Yeah, even though she's not in the same province, it does look like she's reinforcing there, so we should be okay. Right, I got another recruited another general here. But yeah, we, we need to, to wipe them out and get them off the map. Be nice to get rid of them. And then we can secure these provinces. And we've got a nice buffer between us and wherever chaos lands. We can completely focus on cleaning up this mess. So I don't think Mariel will have any trouble. Oh, sorry, Mariel, Beatrice will have any, any trouble dealing with with chaos really can't wait to get these guys into action magical attacks fire attacks how much of this oh okay sorry missile damage I'm looking at the wrong stat missile damage six armor piercing. oh man armor piercing 16 it's fucking huge You must restore order. The winds are rising. I hear the Cadets. Yeah, I guess we'll build that. Ancestors be praised. Lawmaster of Hoeth. Yeah, it's gonna stay down here for now. Soon we'll have the public order under control there. Servant of the tower. Character guard more or less has to stay here. Once we get this upgraded, then we can move him. You seek illumination. I'm not sure we're going to send him. Oh uh, yeah, definitely get that going. What do you seek? Sir, so keep moving. Forward then. Back this way, I guess. Could send him into Nagarond. Do that. Just want to check the building browser. Definitely get this going. I don't want another <laughs> rebellion here. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's hit the end turn, I guess, and see if we can get through this battle sequence in the book and we'll end the episode we're coming up onto the hour mark now so okay uh, Valkia's gaze turned upwards her breath hissed out slowly through her fangs and the muscles in her neck tensed she flicked a furious glare at dark hand and then with a few beats of her wings took to the air in pursuit of the dragon Malekith kept the battle tight Seraphon's wings easily keeping him steady, hovering just above the city. 
allowing its rider the ability to focus on his opponent. Forced into the position of a bystander, Dark Hand clenched his hands into fists as he observed the encounter. Archers on the walls were loosing their projectiles at Valkia as she drove herself upwards with tremendous force. Each arrow fell shy of its mark, falling to the ground and, preparing, and peppering the ravaged grounds before the city. Valkia soared to a great height and then, at the peak of her ascent, dove downwards, leading with the tip of, her, of the spear, screeching a promise of death. She landed on the dragon's back and, he, and her cursed spear drove through the thick skin of Seraphon's haunches. Most normal weapons could not hope to penetrate the armor, armoring of dragon hide, but then Valkia's spear was anything but normal. Malekith turned in his throne and howling Bolts of darkness sprang from his fingertips, scorching the air but failing to find the lithe, swift form of Valkia. Seraphon roared in pain and fury and ceased holding his position. He took off into the city, his sinuous body winding between the spires of to and towers of Nagaron as he sought to dislodge the unwelcome passenger. Valkia dragged her weapon from the dragon's flesh and turned her attention to the throne ahead. Malekith had turned in the saddle, and Darkhand could see from the flickering light at his fingertips that it was preparing another spell. Black flames sprang from his fists, but before he could release the magic, Valkia hurled Slopner towards him. The barbed head of the weapon punched through the back of the riding throne and emerged from the other side. The Witch King was faster than she had anticipated, and he twisted his side at the last moment, avoiding being skewered by inches. Roiling balls of fire left his hands in the same instant, and Valkyo was forced to block the attack with the head of Los Effex. The blast dislodged her from the dragon's back, and she tumbled in the air for a few moments before righting herself. Seraphon flew his sinuous body around the nearest tower and once turned descended after Valkyo, snapping hungrily with his carnivorous jaws. Peace treaty, eh? Big fucking surprise there. No, thank you. Oh, we're going to finish you guys off for good. She beat her wings, lifting clear of the dragon's path just as his maw snapped shut. Dark Hand felt that a wrench of disappointment. The spectacle had arrested any further attempts he might have made at fighting, and, he could, and all he could do was watch as Valkia's momentum carried her over Malekith's head and beyond his throne. She wrenched Slopner free without breaking her stride and kicked off into the air. Dragon and Daemon wove between the towers of the city, the dark magic of the Witch King clawing at her but never quite finding its mark, sending shattered stone raining into the streets below. Unable to land a killing blow on the dragon, Valkia loo looped beneath the beast's jaws and onto his head. Seraphon bucked and heaved, but the winged warrior kept her footing, lunging once more towards the seated figure of the Witch King. Malekith turned the spear aside with his own jagged blade and backhanded Valkia with an armored fist. The blow would have crushed the skull of a lesser being, but she sim simply turned with the impact and used the momentum to drive a thrust at the Witch King's heart. Malekith caught the haft of Slopner with his free hand only a few inches from his ancient breastplate. Daemon's eyes locked with loose with those of the Witch King. From his vantage point atop the rubble, Darkhand could hear the final exchange. These lands are mine, Malekith's voice hissed from deep within the grotesque helm. He held Valkyrie's spear at bay, but the tip wobbled as it, as it crept its way towards his armor. You will never take them. They are not yours now, Valkyrie replied. She pushed Slopner's harder sec she pushed Slopner harder, seconds away from driving it into the Witch King's body. I will take them from you, as I will take your head from my lord and master. No. The single word was spoken with the conviction of the ages. Malekith snarled, sheathing his sword and thrusting his hands toward Valkyrie's face. A blast of night-dark energy smashed into her, hurling her from the dragon's back and into the path of his jaws. Xerophon immediately exhaled exhaled a huge stinking cloud that entirely engulfed Valkyrie's form. Dark Hand caught his breath and everything around him seemed to slow until it paused, just for a heartbeat when time resumed. A crimson clad finger 
uh, figure with tattered wings plunged from the dark cloud, trailing ribbons of black smoke. It dis descended, twisting and spinning from the skies above Nagaron. With a resounding crunch, it struck one of the wall towers with enough impact to shatter the stone before finally tumbling into teeming hordes and trampling feet of the Chaos Army beneath. Whew! All right, very, very intense shit there. Very, very intense shit. The dispute has developed between the nobles of Saffron Universe, whom Saffron Elves and the Ghosts of Glory, though the petty clandestine Squabble's hosts are never usually a concern for the Phoenix King, the Saffron Elves bristle with magical power, with the Toriverse is one of the most defensible, dangerously ill garrisoned cities in Uthwan. Harmony between these two houses is preferable, but if not possible, then someone somewhere must be appeased. Uh, definitely, we're gonna do this one. I think. No, uh, that's. Uh, we're, we're not really building a lot of defense buildings. Uh, we don't have enough influence for this one. But yeah, 1,500 for 32 influence is bugging nothing at all. Uh, the leadership is kind of tempting, but we don't really need it. Definitely do that. All right. Good stuff. Uh, thanks, guys, for tuning in. That's going to do it for today's episode. We'll uh, continue pushing back the, the Dark Elves. Uh, looks like Marathi has retreated back to here, and uh, that'll give her uh, give us the opportunity to, uh, to hit her with a couple armies there. And uh, Captain Kirk can keep uh, moving around here. And, yeah, over here, Beatrice... It's going to have to take on two Chaos Armies, but I don't think they're at full strength. So, got a little bit of work to do next episode, but things are going very smoothly, I think, for the most part. So, I don't foresee a whole lot of difficulties in uh, finishing this campaign off. So, hopefully we'll be able to do it in a reasonable amount of time. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks again for watching. This is uh, Ragnarok signing out. Episode 11 is next.